Welcome back to Crypto Trends, and today we'll be discussing hard wallets, Cardano, and the overall market in general. So stay tuned. So, uh, crypt crypto, right? So let's. I wanted to make this video about one topic that's on my mind it's kind of a kind of a big deal um mm -hmm. ha have you ever heard of cardano uh you briefly mentioned it last time we spoke but okay i haven't looked too much into it it's okay um so cardano's got my attention it's like so the the developer is charles hoskinson right yeah he was one of the original creators of Ethereum. Yeah. And he's also worked with Dan Larimer, who is working on EOS. It's got this huge team behind it. It's like, it's got like these foundations, like, like, um, IOHK. Also, as of, as of right now, Cardano is trading at like, uh, 12 cents, basically switching topics it's fine we'll, we'll just i think that's pretty important we could talk about whatever it's fine i don't i like it rather be be an open open forum um nice hash what about it what happened was recently uh it got hacked by some european hackers according to the article either one or a few of them just grouped together and targeted the nice hash uh uh, company services. Basically, Nitas is a company that allows people to mine from the comfort of their home or their own personal devices, and they lend out their hashing power to the services, and then from there, people can tap into the, you know, to this power uh, resources, and then that's how uh, the nice hash comes about. So basically, people were lending their hashing powers and all these bitcoins and was being stored on their exchange servers and recently some european hackers got in uh through social engineering and other hacks and through a nice hash uh coder developer got into his access admin rights and all the other uh extensive backdoor stuff and that's how they got in through that loophole um so it's kind of scary recognizing that because i personally also mining Bitcoin as well as you are and others out there um, to kind of just be aware but also at the same time keep in mind the security not everything's perfect you know it's a different digital environment of what we're doing but also you know just to keep an eye on using hard wallets and cold yeah. wallets and other offline storages I personally use the Treasure yeah. and also the Ledger Nano S myself as long yeah. as others you and other people out there is a highly recommendation there's other methods but those are two off the top of my head but what other services would you recommend uh, since nice hash is obviously down and no longer a viable option i uh, using uh <clears throat> you know like coinbase uh, exchange like what other options since i'm mining where does my mining reward bitcoin go to for exchange like what would you recommend um far as uh, storing cryptocurrency right so that's you're mining your uh, Bitcoin okay so, where so does it go? I'll so just here I'll just how tell you, you. How, what's the process how do you do it okay so here's here's how I do it right so nice hash got attacked right um, yeah so what do you do that right only now? that only like would affect a single person if they mined on nice hash and left their balance on nice ha nice hash so here's okay, here's so how i do it even do it, if, even if i was mining mining on nice hash that wouldn't affect me because um everywhere i mine okay i have it set up so it does automatic withdrawals um so every time it reaches a balance of like 0 0.03 or 03 bch whatever like basically okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like ten dollars equivalent in the cryptocurrency that i'm mining okay okay and it it's gonna it, to... it automatically uh withdraws it from the exchange from the uh pool the mining pool to okay. my, my wallet automatically 
how would you set that up? Because uh, that's what I'd like to try to set up. So okay. I haven't done that yet. Well, if the exchange doesn't have the feature, it's probably. So what exchange do you recommend? Is one well, trying to get at? I don't know all it of the. That. I don't know all the exchanges that have it, but I can tell you that. Bit. Um, I think Slushpool has it, but I can also tell you that um, okay. Ant Antpool Antpool does have it, and via BTC does have auto okay. automatic. I'm, I'm using Antpool, but I haven't configured it to send like ten dollar increments. Yeah, you know, yeah. Increments. When you when That's you get all. in there for the settings, you can put it as okay. automatic withdrawals. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. And then you send that automatic to your, you know, hard wallet or wherever secure, more secure uh, location. Yeah, any, any, you can send it anywhere. Any, almost any wallet is a, is that is a, uh, that is like, uh, like any, almost a, just about any wallet where you control the private keys. I would consider a good wallet. I mean, you, does that make sense? Because like, if you have it on exchange and you don't have the private keys. And something happens, you can't restore your wallet because you don't have right, the, you right. don't have the keys. That's correct. And um, don't lose your keep your seeds too for the hard hard wallets or seeds. Yeah, you can go over seeds if you want. It's called a seed. Well, yeah, basically all that's all there is to that is uh, keep more than one. Over storing a backup. Keep, keep storing. Yeah, keep a backup and don't keep them in the same location. Right. Yep. That's or else, good, yeah. or else you end up like those guys that. Uh, like lost their Bitcoin hard drive and millions of dollars worth. And it's all over the articles and news recently. Like yeah. a European guy, you know, he just threw it away. Yeah. His hard so, drive. So if your house if ago. your house burns down and you're not home, will you lose all your cryptocurrency? Stuff like that. Or do you have a backup like that? You have a you have a, ba you have a backup because using that twenty four string of seed words. You can basically recreate that lost um, yeah. hard wallet. You could, if that makes any sense. You could, you could memorize it. It's not. I mean, you could memorize it. You can memorize it too, right? Say a phrase. You know, Humpty yeah. Dumpty went to town. You know, stuff like then that. Then it's in Using your head. First letters. Yeah, yeah. Right. Create, you create like a little story so, with it. So it's a it's a phrase. Yeah. But what's neat is I don't mean to switch to little topics here, You're but good. the treasure wallet, pretty neat. Um, using the treasure wallet there, anybody else out there? If you do, it's kind of cool where you can hide your wallet. Say the hypothetical instance that the government just regulates this so much and puts a ban on it, like, oh, uh, and all of a sudden they're forcing people, gunpoint, worst case scenario, crazy, right? Uh, scenario, and says, hey, give me all your Bitcoins, and oh, yeah. here you are with the treasure, yeah. and they confiscate your treasure. They yeah, force yeah. you to give the information and if you, if you had to because it's life or death, I know, I'm hypothetically speaking, and they look at your treasure and it's only showing like point zero 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 like like ten dollars worth of BTC for account one, and then maybe fifty dollars in account two, and then account three is not even showing. And that's the secret beauty of it. Oh. You can actually hide your uh, visibility uh, through the treasure, which is cool. So account three. The, the government, whoever that the hypothetically looking at it, only sees account one and two. Yeah. So technically, you gave the password, you gave it for the investigation, whatever crazy situation is going on, and they're like, all right, they look at it and they're like, okay, you're good, and they leave you alone. But knowingly, you have a hidden account in account number three and four. Three is just an invisibility, you know. Even if they actually somehow see it, it's showing you know hundred dollars. But your goods are really in account number four. That's where all right. the meat and potatoes are. And yeah, that's or kind of cool. Or you could just so that's kind of uh, if you ever had to if you ever had to like give up your hard wallet, um, you should okay, be. At you point, should, yeah. You, yeah. No, if you had to give up your hard wallet, you should be comfortable with destroying it. Destroying it, destroy the hard wallet. You could recreate right. your. You could re recreate the balance. And be confident. Yeah, if you're you if, knowing yeah. your twenty four words, yes. Yeah, you have a store somewhere backed up. No big deal. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Yes. Or like. Or with, with like the uh, the the ledger, you could just uh, incorrectly type the password three times and it forgets everything. That too. There's other ways of self-destruction mode, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So it's like or like, if like, somebody, a, like a cell phone wipeout. I mean, that's a different category. Or if somebody's but trying like, to say something, get, you just wipe it out. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Um, well, yeah. Interesting topic so far. That's good.
so yeah i mean there's different uh things and then you could even be more creative with those 12 words you could scramble them through a crypto thing but it's best to like you mentioned uh have that memorization you know yeah have that little phrase but um otherwise if not then make sure it's secured in a safe location only you have eyes on but anyways uh move on to the next topic all right how about i run down the list of the cryptocurrencies to let you know what's going on fill you in a little bit all right today is the 9th of december 2017. i'll run down the list i'll just share my uh my dots for the uh the coin market cap holdings here give me a second so here's uh so this is just my opinion about what's going on in the cryptocurrency market and okay and i'll start by saying bitcoin right bitcoin is number one but unfortunately bitcoin is a dinosaur or as uh, uh, charles um, hoskinson puts it it's it's primitive but for some reason it's uh, in it's also a honey badger you know um right it's the blockchain that really gives that yeah it's, a, unique, it's the first uh, mover. technology it's just it's the first movie and it's just the bitcoin is just a face it's like the branding face hey we got great branding by us, but behind could, the technology, it's like Apple. You got Steve Jobs is the face of the token Bitcoin, and then you got yeah. Wise behind the technology and smarts so, of it, the blockchain. But, so just picture it like that. Yeah. So so here's the way I see it though. Like when people move into cryptocurrency, um, they they don't have a choice really but to go through Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the reserve cryptocurrency. It right, just it just right. is, and. Uh, <laughs> And if you talk to anybody about cryptocurrency, the only thing they that the average person really knows is Bitcoin. Uh, right, the word. They, they might know Ethereum, but if you start mentioning stuff like <laughs> like Cardano or Ethereum Classic, Cardano they're they're, lo- they're lost. They they yeah, it's like you're speaking another language to them. So oh, it's a whole other language. If the world starts moving away from fiat, which it's not there yet, it, but but cryptocurrency is becoming more mainstream. Beginning uh, places there now. As of current, they're going to rush into Bitcoin, um, not because Bitcoin is the most useful and the most functional, the fastest transactions, uh, or any of those other things that these other altcoins can do. Just because the only thing they know is Bitcoin. Uh, so mm-hmm. that's it about Bitcoin. That's how I feel about it. I feel like the money flowing in is just dumb money going to the only thing they know. Um, okay. Ethereum. Ethereum has a, a whole lot going for it. Um, it will continue to battle in the top 10 for a very long time. Uh, Vitalik is currently working on Ethereum 2.0. Once Ethereum goes to 2.0, it'll be considered a third gen cryptocurrency, which, uh, which, which takes into all these other facets such as um, scalability, uh, transaction costs, the fees, uh, interoperability, atomic swaps, uh, DApps, all these different layers make it will will make it a uh, third generation cur- currency. It's it's currently a second generation, but uh, Vitalik's roadmap he's already laid out uh, is for Ethereum 2.0. It's down the line, so Ethereum is here to stay. I see the price going up. Uh, much higher, above a thousand mm-hmm. in the future. Absolutely, people yeah. will. There will be another another bull run coming up soon. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash. I think it's not done yet. Um, if if something goes on with Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin Cash will eventually replace Bitcoin. But th- that's not to say either one will be number one. I, right, that, right, I don't right. think that'll be the case. Um, I think some things like iota cardano or ethereum will will move into the top three spaces there ripple and dash i don't have any opinion on i don't even invest in those um same with monero and fluffy pony guy i don't like it i think it's garbage (laughs) because because you got monero uh if you ever watch videos of that guy talking i mean there was a video that lost where I lost my interest in, uh, right, I don't right. know. I don't know if it's still up, but he basically said, um, he's basically said, "Oh, I'm surprised uh, we've made it this far." And it was only at like seven dollars. Like now, I still don't tell people to buy Monero. I don't own any Monero. 
but I at least have a lot of confidence in your leadership. And I, I still, find the I, project very interesting. And I still tell people you're a scammer. <laughs> okay, so I wanna, well, it's, that's I, what Jonsef does. I, I, I think that's great. You know, I'm in it for the long con. You know, my, my invisible green <laughs> is going to come out later. Right. But, I mean, when are you going to exit scam? Yeah, so I'm planning an exit scamming in 2023. So, you know, I, I think that's okay. fair warning. Right, yeah. Oh, like, like, really? You're going to say something like you don't believe in your coin? It, it, was, a, <laughs> it was a crazy show. Right, right. Um, so I think Cloak has a lot more going for it than Monero because for a, for a one... Um, they got a they got a well built website which is cool that's got my attention and the wallet is pretty awesome because if you have a cloak wallet right you can encrypt your okay. you can encrypt your wallet and oh, then nice. and then you can also uh, start minting on your wallet so you'll earn six percent every year as you stake oh, wow. stake your cloak coins which is really cool. Hmm. Um, what else? Uh, so Litecoin, Litecoin. Um, is great. It's fast transaction, right? Fast transaction, and it's just the first gen coin, in my opinion. It doesn't have any second gen features. It's just the first gen coin, but it's a really good coin. It's got um, longevity. It's been around for a while. It's got uh, scalability. Um, it's it's got this like it's getting recognized. It's on Coinbase. It's available. You know, it's it's kind of like yeah, yeah. So I think Litecoin will, it's having a, a run right now, but I'm not sure that run will sustain. Uh, NEM is pretty popular amongst the Japanese, kind of like Mona, uh, but NEM has a lot more going for it than Mona. You can also stake and do delegated harvesting, kind of like Cloak. So mm -hmm. NEM's okay, pretty cool. cool, new economy movement. You hear about the Bitcoin lightning lightning speed to, uh, something technology? Basically, it increases the uh, tr tr transfer technology speed, and so it's pretty uh, interesting. So, unfortunately, yeah, but the it, scary part is you know the features are coming out, and I don't think it's I've, implemented like, yet. That technology technology is not fully ready to be out in the public yet. It's still in testing. The lightning. Yeah, I think uh, it's. Technology. I think it's still in the testing phases. It's and not here fully released. tomorrow. I believe it's going to start trading the features tomorrow, and it scares me and worries me that. That's why I, I don't know. It, it, it concerns me because I believe all this stuff is just too soon. Maybe. It's just way too soon. Maybe. And that's what's concerns me. Um, it's possible. Uh, but uh, look, look what happened with, with IOTA, for example, right? Uh, they just partnered with Microsoft and that's pretty Fuj interesting. Fujitsu, and an IOTA yeah. went from went from like a dollar to five dollars in like a day. Wow. You know what I'm saying? All because yeah. of this news about the partnership with the Microsoft. So it all happened so fast. Absolutely. It's a huge run up. It's, it's all right. You have anything else to say? Otherwise, uh, nope. some interesting topics. And I appreciate you taking time to uh, have me on uh, as a guest. No problem. And uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for uh, coming on the show. Uh, hope to have you on again next time. It's a good talk. All right. Well, do. All right, take All care. Right.